Tonight, Tacoma Park is grappling with an execution-style double murder. Good evening, everyone. I'm Meredith Fuel. And I'm Rhea Blakey. It is the first drug-related killing this year for Tacoma Park. Friends and family of one of the victims warned her that her lifestyle could lead to her death. News 7 Cheryl Alexander has the details. Around 3 o'clock this morning, 41-year-old Milton Bird and 19-year-old Phyllis Jones were found shot several times. Their bodies were in the back entranceway of the Parkview Towers apartment complex at 7667 Maple Avenue, where Bird lived. He was pronounced dead at the scene. Jones died this afternoon at Suburban Hospital. Bird and Jones were found by a resident of this apartment complex. She did not want to appear on camera. But she told me early this morning she was walking past this door when she heard an argument. She turned away, but soon she heard gunshots. She waited a few seconds, and she came back, peered through this window, and found their bodies on the floor. Police believe they were killed execution style. No signs of uh, a real struggle, no signs of robbery. Um, in for a situation where you have uh, a perhaps a point-blank injury. Channel 7 has learned Milton Bird sold cocaine and was known as a big-time drug dealer in D.C. and Maryland. Police found some drug paraphernalia in his apartment this morning. Phyllis Jones was Bird's girlfriend. Her friends and family called her Booby. She had just graduated from Cardozer High School. Phyllis Jones lived in this apartment complex on Clifton Street Northwest. Her family members say Bird practically watched her grow up and then started dating her. Her aunt told me she was warned many times about the relationship, but like so many girls, she was lured by the money and gifts. I knew eventually this was going to happen, and it's going to happen to a lot more of them. They'd be, be with these pushers and drug dealers. Yeah, and I said, well, Boo back there, you know, if somebody put a contract on him, they're going to get you because you are a witness. They're not going to leave a witness. What do you think attracted her to him? The money. That says money. Gossett says Bird also had six fast cars. Police impounded two this morning. Gossett says Phyllis is her second niece to die this way, murdered while hanging around drug dealers. It hurt. Cheryl Alexander, News 7, Late Edition. The bodies have been sent to the state medical examiner's office in Baltimore for autopsy. Police tell News 7 tonight they have no suspects in this case.